seventh grade on Google Classroom for Science Today, you can find a link. When you click on that link, it's going to give you a PDF version. It's going to look just like this. So if you open up that download that happens, you're going to see this. Now, on your sheet inside of your homework package, you're going to find a big, big table that you're going to need to fill out. First thing you need to do is put your name on that. Then you can put down your objective for today. Your objective is identify the different functions of cell parts. I'll say that again. Identify the different functions of cell parts. Make sure you write that down. That is part of your grade today. So your instructions say use the comic strip on pages 16 to 21 to complete the following table about cell parts. So you need to go to page 16 of this comic book. So if you go down, you start moving down, you see oh, that green circle with a one, that's page one. So you gotta go down and find, there's three, find page 16. Oh, there's 20, I went a little too far. There, page 16 is where it begins. What are cell parts and their functions? So guys, as you go through this, you are going to learn about how a cell is like a mall. And you're going to identify, well, what is the function of this part of a mall? And what is the function of this part of a cell? So outside wall and cell wall have a lot of similarities. And as you read through this comic, you'll be able to, able to identify what each of their functions are. So here it says the outside wall of a shopping mall, which provides shape and protection for it. So under outside wall on your table, on your worksheet, you can say it provides shape and protection for a mall. A cell wall is a supporter and provides protection for a cell. Guys, I don't need you to fill up the whole box totally. Just write down the quick, fast functions of these different things. I think comparing a cell to a mall is a great way for you to visualize and better understand what all these different pieces do. Okay, so you're going to work your way through this comic. you got about five pages worth of comics to read through. There's a whole bunch of different things that you're going to write down. It shouldn't take you a ton, a ton of time to fill out, well, what is the function of this in a mall? What's the function of this in a cell? You'll find there's a lot of similarities there, right? And then on the back page, make sure you do the top two. Then it says, can you think of any parts or pieces of a mall that would represent these cell characteristics? So there's different, there's different organelles and parts of a cell that weren't addressed in this comic, like the cytoskeleton, ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, vesicle, and lysosome. Guys, if you want extra credit, feel free to come up with, on that left side, something in a cell, excuse me, something in a mall that's similar. So, for instance, cytoskeleton. I would probably write down the walls of, of a mall. Or I might even say the metal beams that hold a mall up. And then I would say, well, so I write metal beams in that skinny line, and then I write down these give, give the cell shape and structure. Cytoskeleton gives a cell shape and structure, right? So you can write a number of different things down. Fill that out for a whole bunch of extra credit if you so wish. All right, guys, that's as far as we're going today. Take some time, enjoy the comic, and hopefully you'll be done soon. All right, love you. Bye.